All right, before we actually begin uh, the quick update, I didn't all stop after like almost an hour of switching out that stupid lectern and only getting Unbreaking 2. So instead we're gonna get Unbreaking 2, combine these books together and make Unbreaking 3 out of that. But yeah, I want you to just see how long it actually took. Which I managed to just put down into a small time lapse of literally just me standing here breaking and replacing that stupid bookcase for like an hour. Just quicker. So before we actually start with the last bits of preparation for the Ender Dragon fight, enjoy my suffering.
All right, so now that that is done and I just slapped the books onto these things, so now we have unbreaking here and also there. The uh, last little bits of things that we probably want is obviously sort our end, uh, like our inventory and head over to the place. But before that, just look, look at this. This is what I stopped at because I didn't want to anymore. I accidentally hit this guy once with our diamond eggs, which hurt probably. But we also got Frostwalker too, and normal Frostwalker. I would still just really like to know what else he has for us. Just random stuff that we really won't need, but this is so frustrating. Uh, okay, never mind. But yeah, we could still get some some other cool stuff. Also, the amount of times I had like the same and what? What? There are so many here. Anyway, the amount of times I had like multiple enchantments t twice. Like the amount of times I had mending. Incredible. I don't think I've ever had that many different mending things at once. But... That's really not too important right now. Um... I don't think we need to take this one with us, so we're gonna take this and leave it here. Um, obviously we won't need any of this stuff. Um, we have scaffolding blocks. I'm gonna fill this with water in just a minute. I don't think we need flint and steel, so I'll probably better let it stay here as well. Uh, let's fill up on food first, right? Uh, then let's get the potions into our inventory, right? Uh, probably something like this, right? Uh, we won't need these. We want to keep this on the hotbar and just put the arrows in here. Just kind of like this. Have the pumpkin on the side have these maybe we should craft these up so that we take less space but other than that this is basically what we're gonna take with us except I'll probably swap this out for a bucket of water as well so once we actually have water war war and there you go Probably something more like this. Maybe craft these already and then still want to figure out something about this pumpkin helmet so that we can actually see while it's on. Um, but yeah, otherwise I am pretty sure we are good to go. This this looks this looks uh, this looks like we are over prepared almost. But I really don't want to die. I really, really don't. Yeah, we have good strength, we have good regen for a tiny bit in case we run out of apples, we can quickly drink a potion. Then we have slow falling for quite a bit. Uh, we probably don't want to craft these actually. We're gonna keep these this way so we have exactly the amount of... Oh, hi geez. So we have exactly the amount of eyes of ender that we need and then still have some ender pearls right because i imagine that might be a good idea to have just some ender pearls generally um it would be cool if we get some better feather falling still like because we only have feather falling too do i have Oh yeah, I can just look at what would be on these boots if I would put them in there right now. And then see if I go to level 30 uh, AFK a little. And see if it's worth it. Fire protection. Feather falling 3. This right here. We need... Okay, it's just 12 levels. So we should actually probably get that very quickly. Before we run off somewhere. And then we just slap that onto this. So we have at least a tiny bit of a better protection. So, um, let's make another pair of diamond boots. Uh, what's a quick way 
Let's just trade with these guys. That's probably probably the best way. Where did our water bucket go? Did I really put that away somehow, somewhere? That's just weird. Well, anyway. Uh, hi. Just, um... I guess... Just give me a compass or two. Even though I'm just gonna immediately throw them out. They level them up. And we're level 12 ourselves. There we go, now he just has name tags. But that's not what we care about. Let's swap these for the lapis here, there, and just get what we need. Is this maybe too overprepared? Nah, I guess, but at the same time, I don't really care. So, Feather Falling 2 plus Feather Falling 2. Yeah, because other way around would be so expensive. Yeah, and then we have at least Feather Falling 3. That's good. That's very good. Okay. The last thing that I will take is a tiny bit of wood. Right, so that we can, like, maybe get a crafting table. Even though I think we have a crafting table at our play, like, at the place. So, let's see, we have a sword, we have a bow, the bucket, all the potions, more than enough food. Probably swap these out, though, first. And... Um, probably leave these behind, actually. Because I'm pretty sure we're not going to use that much food. But then we have all of this, and then we have two spots basically still open. Okay, let's slowly hop over there. Alright, alright. This will be fine. This will be absolutely fine. We basically just run through here anyway, so the way to the portal is going to be super easy. Come on. I mean, the only thing where we could be better prepared if we actually made all of this into netherite. But I feel like that might actually be too much. So... Oh. Yeah, this is probably enough. I feel like we are we are nicely prepared the way this is. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. Okay, in case okay, we have everything. I we are over prepared. I know that we are going to be slightly over prepared. But I'd again rather be safe than anything. Okay, okay. Let's just... Yeah, there's some stuff. Oh, hi! You turned. Well... Mm, the entrance should be right around... Yeah, there's the torch. I want to look at that. The entrance is right here. Oh. Uh, I didn't bring any torches. That's unfortunate. Well, it's just gonna be incredibly dark right now. Uh, dark enough that I literally cannot see. Uh, this is dark. And I mean dark. I literally cannot see where I am. Wait, okay. I promise there is more light down here. There we go. See? This is fine. We won't need any light at all. Yeah, good thing all of this is blocked off. So, let's see here. We don't need all of these. Instead, we only need like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I think. Uh, keep this, throw this away, keep this, throw that away. And, okay. Swap these out very quickly. Boop. 
Look at that. That's that's the portal. We will go through there. We will go through there. Just uh just not right now. <laughs> just uh we are prepared and everything. I have all that we need. Uh, we have more than enough potions and food and apples and literally everything and very nicely enchanted stuff. And technically we would be ready to fight. But I... Uh, yeah, I basically want the Ender Dragon fight and maybe even the exploration of the end to be its own kind of thing. So this one will be the one episode before we actually go and start the fight. Yeah. Um, so basically I'm just going to leave you with a cliffhanger. We are right at the portal. And we are slowly making our way up. Right to this thing. But we don't go in. How sad. How sad. We are right here, but we won't go in, even though we're perfectly ready and capable of doing so. Oh no. Well, anyway. So, I hope you are excited for the Ender Dragon fight. Uh, maybe, maybe at least half as much as I am, because I'm probably super excited and maybe a little bit scared. But, yeah. Next time, we'll beat that dragon. So, I hope I see you next time. Bye-bye.